In 2016, WLUC will be celebrating 60 years of service to Upper Michigan. In 1956, it was a challenge to get the TV station going. Yeah, we spoke to three people who were here in those early years. Bruce Turner, one of the first reporters, Jack Truitt, an early engineer, and Roy Peterson, known to everyone as Darby 06. We begin on April 28, 1956. WLUC, operating out of what we now know as the Mining Journal building, went on the air. The group of people working there had one thing in common, a passion to broadcast. And at that point, I was the weather person. We had a lot of handwritten stuff that had to be shown on oh, charts. Yes. At the time, I was uh, running camera and doing some booth announcing at the TV station. And she said, we're going to have a children's program and we're going to start about two weeks uh, from now, and uh, you're going to be the person that's going to be in it. Gathering local news was very different from what we do today. The person that went out had a camera person that went along, and it was to film. So when they talk about film at 11, that's what it was. It was film at 11. <laughs> the reporters had to be in by about 3.30 with any story because it would take... I can't remember, I would say an hour for the whole thing to go through and to be dried and then uh, brought up for projection. As for the national programs that WLUC carried then, it was a far cry from the satellite dishes we use now. When we got our network uh, coming in, to, it would come into Green Bay and then we called them hops. It would go from one tower to another tower to another tower and we had one, two, three, four, five, six towers. Oh. It, was brought, it was brought into the transmitter, which was up on Signal Hill, which is where Tilden Mine is now. As technology advanced, so did WLUC. When we went from black and white to color, was a great transition. But through the past 60 years, one thing has made the difference. Between the people that I met, Roy Peterson, who was Darby 06, and Carl Pellenpaugh, and uh, just so many people, uh, it was a joy to go to work. It's because of the people of the Upper Peninsula that the people of TV6 do what we do, and I'm proud to be one of them. Vicki Crystal, TV6 News, Nagani Township.